welcome everyone to the new video and today I have an exciting 20 jailbreak tweaks plus additional small little bonus at the end of the video so stay tuned. First tweak today is called always responding. Now always responding tweak is when you go to messages app it immediately shows the keyboard so there is no empty space then you have to click to show to invoke the keyboard so this is the only thing the tweak does it's always responding. So the next two tweaks are kind of connected because they give you these nice uh, shortcuts here on the on the home screen and we have app library shortcut which is the first one so instead of scrolling all the way to the right to get to your app library in iOS 14 you just click on it and it invokes your library shortcut immediately. The second one is today shortcut both free tweaks so instead of you know doing this or you can just invoke it by clicking. So if you, you can put it on the other window, maybe today shortcut can be here. So you don't have to go back. You can immediately invoke today view and here app library shortcut. So pretty neat two tweaks. So the next week is CC noise control. So CC noise control places this little thingy here in the control center, which means that it, you can control the noise control, noise cancellation on your AirPods from the control center. So now is, as you can see, noise cancellation is on. When I click on it, it will turn it off and it will go to transparency. So this is pretty useful tweak for those of you who are using the AirPods Pro. The next one is pretty straightforward and it's called centered labels, free tweak. And you can see in my settings, all the labels here are centered, not aligned to the left as they usually are. So centered labels, pretty self-explanatory, nice tweak. The following tweak uh, doesn't have its settings in the settings tab, but it's very useful for those of you who don't like how the, how Apple implemented the new date picker in the alarm or your calendar. So the tweak is called the date picker wheels. So uh, it brings back those old school wheels, as you can see, where you can you know choose the time like this in the old fashioned way instead of the new one where you type or or whatever. So this is the date date picker wheels. Doc X Reborn is a paid tweak that costs one dollar and just uh, adjusts the look of your dock. So you can enable modern dock, you can hide the dock background completely, or you can enable the old dock. This is what I like. You can also change the dock color into any color you prefer. You know, you can, you have the color picker here and you can have the image instead of the dock blur. So I just prefer this one to enable all docks so you can see how it looks like here. So it's an old school dock, like it's, a, it's completely, uh, it covers the entire background of the dock. Double Today is a free tweak which uh, it replaces the app library with today's view. So you can see on the left hand side I have today's view. But if I'm going to scroll to the right and I go to the end again, I have the today view if I don't want to see the app library. Even if you if you link it with the app library shortcut that I showed earlier, when you click on it again, it's going to invoke today's, today's view. So this is double today, a free nice tweak. Easy Dialer 14. Now this is the, the tweak which can replace your uh, basic dialer app within the phone app with T19, if you, uh, T9, uh, T9 dialer, if you remember those. So you can first turn it on, you can replace the native, native dialer, you can toggle the voicemail tab, and you can enhance the call history, which means that you can actually color different types of calls you received. So WhatsApp can be one color, uh, regular calls can be the other. So when you go to the dialer tab here, you see there is easy dialer tab here and it, you have short explanation how you will do it. So if I want to, if I want to call Apple, I need to do a uh, P P L E, right? So there are people, let's say related, related to Apple. So this is very nice, uh, very nice tweak, easy dialer 14, which puts this T9 keyboard into your phone app. So force bar is a free tweak, another free tweak, new one, which actually reminds me of force status bar, but I am Petrich from, from a while ago. 
So this tweak uh, works on iOS 14 and enforces status bar visibility in all apps like I did here, or you can select certain apps where you want this to, where you want to see status bar all the time, or you can force hide the status bar within certain apps of your, of your choice, or you can completely hide it wherever you are. So I took it like this and when I open when I open my YouTube app and I play my video for example you can see when I do this in a portrait mode you can see my status bar you can see the time and you can see the LTE network here so this is force bar totally opposite of the previously shown force bar we have hijack another tweak so if you want hijack tweak what it does it actually hides the status bar on the certain parts of your phone. So I've hid it from the lock screen, for example. You can hide it from the home screen entirely. You can hide it from the control center, or you can choose an application where you want a status bar to be hidden. So when I lock my device, as you can see up there, I don't have anything. I don't have the date nor the network indicator. So this is hijack. The next one is also free, new, tweak, magical scroll bars. So you can see, you know, the scroll bar on the right hand side, when you scroll through certain menus, there is this gray, gray bar uh, visible that shows you where you are currently. So magical scroll bars actually helps you to make it more interesting. So you can have them in different colors. So when I go back and you watch them, you see that my scroll bar on the right hand side is, is red, red and uh, orange. So it, it, it like, uh, fades from one to another so you can choose any possible color that you want the next one is also free very self-explanatory no page dots 14 you've seen these tweaks before so there are no page dots when I go from one to another so there is no there are no these dots indicator on which page you are so if you are kind of bugged with this you can install no page dots 14 and remove these additionally if you want uh, to remove extra clutter on your home screen another tweak I don't know if you noticed by now but I don't have the names of the widgets so I know that this is calendar I know this is um, what is this this is things uh, things app this is something else this is weather these are photos so I know which of these are my widgets so I don't need those names below it so this is kind of useful tweak the next one pretty useful tweak and I really really dig it it's called pop lock and drop it so pop lock and drop it is a free tweak that when you tap the status bar, you can see the current battery level. So this is pretty neat. And then it will disappear when I start doing something. When you're in any app, you can just invoke the battery percentage. So how cool is this? Pop lock and drop it. So reach player is a free tweak which uses your reachability area. You know, when you swipe down on, on this, area of the phone down there you know you can swipe down and invoke reachability window so reach player actually puts your now music playing app in the uh, reachability window you can set it up first you can enable it you can enable the blur if you want you can set the reachability height you can you know uh, do the you can change the transparency of chevron artwork size etc so when i go to my home screen i already have a music playing here i think Yes, so there is a, a song playing. So uh, when I when I go, sorry, when I invoke it, as you can see in my reachability, I can see my player. So I can change the song back and forth. I can I can pause it or play it again. So this is the only thing reachability player does. Pretty neat tweak. So settings buttons, another free tweak and great one I might add, places this the different utility buttons on the top of your settings. So you can set the right side buttons, you know, you can set the left side buttons, like dark mode, low power flashlight, this is what I put on. So when I go to my settings to the top, you notice that I have these things. So when I click on this, it's actually respringing. So it says, do you want to respring? Are you sure you want to respring? So this is safe mode. No, this is reboot, soft reboot. So no. Also here, I can turn on the flashlight. I can turn on the low power mode or I can switch it to the dark mode here. So pretty useful tweak settings buttons. So shake it off is a free, is a free tweak, which uh, gives all sorts of functionalities to the, your shake it option on your phone. You know, when you shake your device, you can do the undo things. Now, when you 
enable it, you have tons of things which you can use for for uh, when it when you shake your device. You can put it in the safe mode. I don't recommend the respring safe mode because you know you might do this accidentally, right? So uh, what I did, I I put locking the screen when I shake my device. So when I do this, the device locks. So this is pretty useful tweak. Shake it off. Spectro is a paid tweak. It costs. 1.49 and uh, I want to give a shout out to the developer who was kind enough to share the tweak for me to, to review it and show it here. So it just customizes your uh, now playing uh, now playing icons, now playing display on your lock screen. So I'm playing a certain song now and when I do this you can see that now playing uh, uh, image is in a circle you can change the song here you see the progress bar around it and it's very minimalistic and it's a very cool and you can you know you can adjust it to many things that you want you can show skip buttons you can long press gesture so long press gesture actually what do we get so when I long press on it I can see the airplane additionally when I when I uh, lock it or when I show this now you can see here that you can show the song that it's currently playing uh, instead of you know swipe to unlock so this is pretty neat feature also so this is spectral spectral tweak you have other things to to adjust you can uh, change the visualizer settings you can have it more or less sensitive more or less points you can have the co uh, coloring changed you can disable it in low power mode etc etc so this is pretty useful tweak spectral the shy is another free tweak which uh, make your which makes your icons after they've been inactive for a certain time like for example one second they can become like a grayed out so that you can see that these apps are not being used so if you if you wait for a second you see they are like a grayed out now and until i start using my phone they will not come back so this is the shy this is the only thing the tweak does which is pretty pretty neat so now we are coming to the bonus stage and I just want to show you one very cool widget. Again, big shout out to the developer who shared this widget with me. This widget works with uh, Zen HTML, which is a free tweak and you already are very familiar with it. So this is a paid one, paid widget, which is one and a half dollars, but it gives you really nice view on your home screen so you can tap on the right and you can see the time or you can see the now playing uh, music or you can see the battery percentage so it's pretty neat to have it it's called skewo or s-k-e-u-o i guess i'm reading it right s-k-e-u-o very good so this is the uh, widget that i want to finish with and the tweak zen html which proves that it works so my suggestion here is only to, uh, when you place it on your uh, lock screen, you need to place it as the foreground widget, not the background widget, because otherwise it's going to be behind your, behind your other widgets or apps. So this is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. 20 tweaks plus additional uh, nice bonus in terms in the shape of a widget like this. And I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.